This is what Japan's next generation stealth fighter will look like. It's a joint project with the UK and Italy, marking Japan's first major military development with a partner other than the US since World War II. Currently, London remains tight-lipped about the future of the Global Combat Air Program GCAP, a multinational effort involving Italy and Japan. The UK's Defence Minister, Luke Pollard, stated that the new Labour government isn't rushing into long-term commitments, emphasising the program's importance to Britain's defence. However, Pollard mentioned that, it is not right for me to prejudge what might happen in the Strategic Defence Review. The Global Combat Air Program GCAP, is a multinational initiative focused on developing next-generation fighter aircraft. This program aims to enhance air combat capabilities through advanced technology and international collaboration. It involves key players such as Italy, Japan, and the United Kingdom, who contribute their expertise and resources to create a state-of-the-art combat aircraft. The dimensions of the aircraft developed under the GCAP program are designed to optimize both stealth and aerodynamic performance. While specific measurements may vary as the design evolves, the aircraft is expected to feature a sleek, low observable profile with a wingspan and length that balance agility and fuel efficiency. These dimensions are crucial for achieving superior performance in various combat scenarios. According to Justin Bronk, Senior Research Fellow for Air Power and Technology at the Royal United Services Institute, GCAP is completely impossible if there is a war in Europe in the next five years because the global economy will be completely overwhelmed. Although he didn't directly mention the war in Ukraine, it's currently the only ongoing conflict in Europe. The lack of effective diplomacy between Russia, Ukraine, and European supporters of Ukraine combined with the fluctuating stance from the White House and the Biden administration, increases the likelihood of this conflict escalating into a multinational issue rather than remaining contained. Interestingly, the U.S. Air Force has voiced concerns about potentially not being able to afford the NGAD program. Even though they already have prototypes in flight, this marks their third or fourth attempt at a stealth fighter. The U.S. excels at this due to significant funding, but if they deem it unaffordable, we might need to reconsider how Europe approaches such developments," a defense expert remarked. In the near term, it's crucial to deter Russian military tests against NATO, as all other considerations become secondary. While some analysts have been more optimistic about the NGAD's impact on GCAP, they acknowledge that the two projects operate with vastly different budgets. The U.S. design, for instance, is estimated to cost between $200 to $300 million per unit. We need advanced capabilities, emphasized Pollard. It's essential that we deliver high-end, future-proof systems to protect our people. The most cost-effective strategy to achieve this is through collaboration with our allies. During a media briefing today, a senior RAF spokesman, who requested anonymity, expressed that Pollard's position on GCAP was unsurprising due to the significant funding involved. It's a massive investment. Over the next decade, the funds allocated to GCAP will be roughly a quarter of what we plan to spend equipping the Army, he explained. Propulsion for the GCAP aircraft is centered around advanced jet engines that provide high thrust-to-weight ratios, enabling supersonic speeds and enhanced maneuverability. These engines are likely to incorporate cutting-edge materials and technologies to ensure reliability and efficiency.
The propulsion system is a critical component, allowing the aircraft to perform a wide range of missions with minimal maintenance. The technical characteristics of the GCAP aircraft include advanced stealth features, such as radar-absorbent materials and an optimized airframe design to reduce radar cross-section. Additionally, the aircraft will be equipped with sophisticated avionics, sensor fusion capabilities, and electronic warfare systems. These characteristics ensure that the aircraft can operate effectively in contested environments and maintain a technological edge over adversaries. The avionics suite in the GCAP aircraft is expected to be highly advanced, incorporating elements such as active electronically scanned array, AESA, radar, infrared search and track, IRST, systems, and helmet-mounted displays. These avionics systems will provide pilots with enhanced situational awareness, target acquisition, and communication capabilities, making the aircraft a formidable asset in modern air combat. Weapon systems on the GCAP aircraft will include a variety of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground munitions. These may range from advanced missiles, such as Beyond Visual Range BVR, and Short Range Air-to-Air -air missiles, to precision-guided bombs and standoff weapons. The aircraft will also likely feature internal weapons bays to maintain its stealth profile while carrying a significant payload. Italy and Japan play crucial roles in the GCAP program by contributing their technological expertise and industrial capabilities. Italy brings its experience in aerospace engineering and defense manufacturing, while Japan offers advanced technologies in materials science and electronics. Both countries collaborate closely with the United Kingdom to ensure the program's success, sharing knowledge and resources to develop a cutting-edge fighter aircraft that meets the strategic needs of all participating nations.